How about the DNA testing? Last I heard, it's going to be done in several weeks. Hey, Liam, the second of you to come. And this is Jan and her boyfriend, Mitchell. We've got a real flair for ending conversations. Anyways, you have a boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. Why didn't you correct Olivia? I think this is why I said I plead the fifth. I spend most of my childhood wandering the hallways of my dad's hotel. He's always been very driven. Kind of like you. You'd be good at running a business. I met a lot of businessmen through my dad. And the ones who fail are the ones who give up too easily. I'd never stop chasing you. <laughs> My sister Elaine. <laughs> Great to finally meet you. Come in. This is for you. Thank you. I hope Hot Pot's OK. Yeah. I love her. <laughs> Need some help? That would be lovely. That, Liam, can you set up the burner for me? Yeah, sure. Uh, where is it? It's in the plastic bag by the sofa. This is your dad? Yeah. Really? Chen Wei Nian. That's your Chinese name? Mm, yeah. William, Liam. Mom started calling me that after uh, people started getting confused. Just kind of stuck. Did you find the burner? I'm just going to quickly get some more gas because they were out. Are you at chopping vegetables? I can try. It's great that Liam has family here. Yeah, we're lucky to have each other. Do, do you have any siblings? I'm an only child. Oh, it must be hard not having a brother or sister to depend on. Do you see any of your family at all? Mostly my dad. He's not really close to any of his siblings at all, so it's mostly just us. Oh, an introvert. Oh. He's got lots of friends, girlfriends, I should say. And he's married to his business. What kind of business? Hotels. How'd he get into that? Well, after the Cultural Revolution, he went back to Shanghai and started one. Surprised you're not any better uh, in the kitchen for having a hotel. Uh, are you done with that? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's fine. Here, uh, why don't you take this to the other room? Okay. Sure. you choose between learning wine or cooking, I chose wines, as you can see. What college? Cornell. Well, that's a good school. Liam really wanted to go there. Imagine, if he had gone, you might have met him there. Yeah, he's quite a smart guy. Why didn't he? Did Liam ever tell you the story how he came home from law school and surprised us for Dad's 60th birthday? No, he never told me that story. He had worked the graveyard shift in the library all semester long to afford airfare. When he got here, he just came in and went to Dad's desk and put a letter on it. It was from Stanford. He was one of 11 transfer students that year. Of course, he couldn't go because we couldn't afford the tuition, but he wanted Dad to know that he could go anywhere he wanted. It must be reassuring to know that you have a family business to take over when your dad's ready. Not really. Are you kidding? I don't know. I think I have some say about the direction of my own life. All I'm saying is that it's an amazing opportunity that a lot of people don't have. Don't you think I know that? They're all out of gas refills. <sighs> this induction plate, great. Heats things up real fast. I hope it doesn't make our food radioactive. It's not radioactive. It's what you don't see that kills you. Well, what did you guys talk about while I was gone? 
Nothing really. We were busy preparing the food. Here's my two favorite women getting to know each other. stuck in her ways, but she means well. She certainly knows how to speak her mind. Well, ever since she started on those meds, she just says whatever. She can really piss me off sometimes, too, but I just have to keep reminding myself she's my sister. Sometimes I wonder what you'd be like if you had a brother. I wonder brother and sister does have his advantages, but being an only child can be pretty cool too. Hey. You alright? Yeah, yeah. What's going on? I haven't told you everything there is to know about my father. Sounds like a decent guy. Went to a hotel, right? Well, not just a hotel. A bunch of hotels. A bunch? Like what? Two or three? More than that. A lot more. You're not some Paris Hilton in China, are you? Holy shit. When I left, he made it clear that he expect me to be home within a year to help him run the business. That's really serious. I know, and I always thought I would tell him I was staying if I wanted to. It's just some of the things that your sister said... What'd she say? Well, just how dedicated you are to your father. Oh, feel like... come on, that's not the same. Why not? Yeah, my father went bankrupt, then worked all of his life to get us back to even. He died even before he got the chance. No offense, but your father's doing just fine. His only child. So? What's that got to do with it? My mom found out she was having a girl. She wanted an abortion. And he stopped her. Back then, we couldn't afford two children. It cost an arm and a leg in fees to raise an extra child. And he's a good man for that, okay? But that's his choice, not yours. After I was born, seeing me just sickened her. But his love never changed. Don't I owe him something for that? Not your whole life. I understand what you're going through, but you cannot be held hostage by something you have no control over. I'm sorry. Hey, I love you. I just don't know what I'd do without you. Maybe you guys can meet? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> what? Did you pick up your phone? What did you say to her, Elaine? To who? To Yan. You must have said something, because now she's freaking out about her dad. I, what? That nothing, really. You, you're sure it was I, nothing? I said what a great opportunity it is to have a family business that's doing well. That's it? Yeah, I, I, I talked about you and dad a lot. Like what? Like, like, good stuff, like how devoted you are to him. <sighs> Give me a break, Elaine. What? I didn't say anything bad. Jeez, God knows I could have. What? <laughs> 
Oh, come on. It's not like I don't know you're not the most traditional of lawyers. What do you mean? They, most lawyers, they sit at a desk all day. They push papers around. You, you're off at meetings, God knows where, on the phone, talking cryptic, shady stuff. Come on, I know how to read between the lines. Hey, we do what we gotta do to get the clients, yeah, okay? Well, that's just, that's just how it is. Well, maybe it's time to get a new job. You know, I find it slightly ironic that you're shooting on the same job that's putting a roof over your head. No, I never asked for this. Damn it. What do you expect me to do, huh? You're my sister. I'd rather be destitute than see you become some sort of degenerate. You fucking bitch. What dare you? you? No, you what, you pay a couple months rent, you fill my pillows every so often, and you think to me I should be all grateful? I don't care if you would you when dad wasn't there. I watched dad when you were off at school. No, I don't owe you no. anything. I don't owe you fucking anything. That what was it? I don't owe you this shit. Get the fuck out. Fine. Go. Flexibility is too much for Daddy. Oh. No, no, no. Dad, this is Liam. Hi. Liam. Hello, Liam. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. Hello. Baijiu. Get some Baijiu. Dad, they only serve wine here. Nonsense. They serve Baijiu everywhere. Uh, this is for you. Chocolates. I don't eat sweets, but uh, oh, thank you all the same. Huh? Uh, very kind of you. Yeah, and didn't tell me. I should have on a diet. Oh, oh actually. I was trying to impress this girl next time she visited, but you know how difficult it is to get her to come home, huh? Huh? Come on, sit down. Come on. It's so wonderful to see my little daughter with guests. Ah, here we are. Liam, is it? Yes, that's right. There we go. Let's drink to um her happiness. To her happiness. Cheers. Cheers. Good. It's good. <laughs> oh, splendid. Well, we ordered some courses ahead of time, if you don't mind, because uh, I was really hungry. Right. We've grown this chain from here to more than 20 locations. We're looking at building a headquarters in the city in a few years' time, if they let me. Dad. Well, I do need someone to look after the relationship, right? I'm sure in time it'll work out. Yeah, I'm sure in time it'll all work out. In the meantime, another shot. No, 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 I'm sorry, I can't. I... Liam's not used I to I insist. Him. Come on. Cheers. Ah. Then tells me you work in the law. Yeah, that's right. You like it? It's a good living. I'd be foolish to complain. Never regret anything you do for your family, Liam. Sorry? Then tells me you look after us very well. For that, I appreciate it. Well, I hope to save enough to do something else. Why? Isn't being a lawyer a good profession? Ah. Hey, Sam, Sam. Hey. Who are you? I'm sorry. Hey, what's up? Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. 你在香港做什么？我刚跟你爸谈生意，我们见个几位客人。啊，很久不见。嗯，Shen，the，this is my boyfriend Liam. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Listen, I'm sorry to cut our meeting short, but we have important business to discuss. Do you mind? Dad! No, Leo, it's fine. you should stay. Really, I didn't mean to break things up. No, 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 it's not a big deal. You guys do what you need to do. I'm only here for a few days. And the Senate here has been opening doors for us. Please. You know what? Dad. Let me take care of dinner. I got it. I got it. You sure? I'm sure. Well, I hope to see you again, sir. OK. It was a pleasure. Bye-bye. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go. 
Carl. It's okay, dear. Spend some time with him. We got some business to discuss. Okay. I love you. Love you. <laughs> Go. Oh. time before I win him over. Let's go to France. We both got some money. We can buy a little vineyard in Bordeaux and like make our own wine. I think I've been here, it's tough business. Who cares? At least we can be together. I don't have to take care of my sister. Besides, so between here and France, still away from your father. It's not far enough. Hey, I love you. It's all that matters. So it goes that you never know so much for the ones you love, so much for love, so much for love, so much for. 